So this is the uh, Swedish green toads. Uh, they're one of the three species of toads that we have in, here in Sweden. Uh, the Swedish toads are distinguished from our frogs uh, due to the length of their legs and the fact that they are more uh, dry looking and with these uh, glands, uh, paratoid uh, glands, which they have their uh, poison in. Toads tend to walk more than they uh, jump, so that's also a good way to distinguish them from the frogs. So the natural uh, habitat for green toads is uh, grasslands, dry grasslands, uh, low in nutrient, uh, but due to the fact that uh, human settlements and uh, farms uh, have caused eutrophication in these habitats, they've uh, had a huge decline during the last century. Green toads have uh, uh, individual markings uh, on their back and on their head. Uh, these markings help us uh, during surveys to see what individual it is and uh, gives us a uh, chance to follow uh, individuals to see how they do in the wild. Yep. During the colder months, uh, green toads uh, go into hibernation. Uh, this means that they uh, search out uh, a uh, frost-free environment uh, to spend uh, colder months. Uh, 